Welcome to Fibershop tutorial series. This is the third chapter which we learn about the hair blocks. In Fibershop, blocks are the containers which contain hair fibers. They are responsible for layout and bounding. They can be static or dynamic. Also, you can export and import them across different projects. Each block contains its own unique properties. In this video, we will learn about these parameters and how can we use them and working with them. To add a new hair block to the viewport, click on New Block button. Now you can move the block using your mouse. By holding down Ctrl key, you can snap the hair blocks to each other. Canvas will be resized to cover all the blocks by default. To clone a block, simply right-click on the Fiber Blocks tab and click on Duplicate. To remove a block, do the same and click on Delete. By double-clicking on the name of the block, you can rename it. To access the parameters of a block, click on the Settings icon here. When you change the parameters of the fibers, block will be enhanced and resized to fibers new bounding. You can disable this dynamic resizing to have a static block by checking Lock UV checkbox. This is useful for creating hairs in a very specific field. To rotate a block, you can use the rotation parameter. An important note. Locking UV prevents rotation, so you need to do it before locking it. Last two parameters of the block can be used to flip the hair block horizontally and vertically. Also, when you select a block, 3D viewport only shows the selected block. It's useful for isolating the block and setting up the modifiers. To export the block, simply right-click on the block to open the menu and select Export. Then save the file. Create a new project. Now, you can import your hair block back from a file by clicking on Import button, select the file, and import it. Here you go. Be careful, you need to select the file with JPEG extension. Live layout helps you to align blocks based on a grid. It's automated. To turn on the live layout, simply enable the live layout checkbox here. The order of the alignment is based on the order of the blocks. To change a block order, click on the three line at the left side of the block and drag your mouse to change the order. Also, remember the order of the blocks are important in rendering them in the 2D cannabis. A block which is lower than the other gets rendered over the other. It's like Photoshop layers but in reverse order. See you in the next chapter.